Often, people end up drawing hair that resembles straw or bananas. Both options are a mistake. For instance, I find myself in the Madonna syndrome. Take a look, it unmistakably resembles a bunch of bananas. It's bananas here, and here, and here, and well, bananas everywhere. Even if I change the colors, the resemblance to bananas persists. I agree, this example is better. But apologies, I still see bananas. I'm determined not to make that mistake anymore. So in this video I aim to learn how to draw hair, if not perfectly, at least better. Whenever I attempt to add details to my character's hair, it often turns into a tangled mess, losing its structure. I hate it and consistently find it challenging. Do you ever get the feeling that something is off, but you can't quite pinpoint what it is? Well, I need assistance. Let's consult AI. How did the old masters approach it? I've gathered some inspiring examples, and, of course, they all emphasize absolute structure and flawless curves could a solution. Mmm, I do love curls. What about digital painting? I stumbled upon some incredible examples featuring the most stunning hair designs. Oh my god, the rendering is absolutely delicious. Just take a look. Wait, I'm figuring it out. I have two issues, two significant mistakes in drawing hair. The first is a poor design of hairstyles, and the second mistake is in complete rendering. The rendering isn't complete because the design is flawed. I just can't grasp how the light interacts with these peculiar hair shapes. So, the mistakes have been identified, and that's half a battle, by the way. So, let's fix that. I will attempt to replicate this work. First, I create the oral silhouette of the hair mass followed by a silhouette of finer strands. Then I divide the shape into light and shadow, using a new layer. Next, it's about semitones. The crucial part is to remember the main light source, along with how and whether reflected light plays on the hair, and identified areas almost devoid of any light. All of these should align with the general flow and movement of the hair. Afterward, it's a process of rendering and refinement. I clean up all the tonal values, refining all the transitions. I add some individual hairs, enhance the contrast, and voila! It looks easy, but it's generally easy only when you know what the result should be. And what about personal illustrations? I also invested time in studying videos on effective design and rendering improvements to eliminate my mistakes permanently in the future. So, I'm all set to begin my own design. Here is my inspiration board for drawing. I've prepared it with photos from Pinterest and the works of other talented artists, which are exceptionally beautiful. Their names are listed on the right. You can also find links to the accounts of these artists in the description below this video. I already have a sketch of the head, duplicated three times. Now I'm going to explore various hair design options for this character. As a start, it should be something easy. I mostly draw from my imagination, and I use references to understand how individual strands complement the shape of the head. I'll demonstrate this in my own example. The second version of the sketch features a more luminous hairstyle with light. We will look on the sides, resembling a Miguel Ogaro hairstyle. As for the third option, I envision long hair with voluminous bangs and slightly curly strands gathering at the back cascading under the shoulders. A well-designed hairstyle ensures a clear silhouette, considering how each strand behaves in space, its directions and turns, if it's challenging to grasp immediately. Practice with separate exercises is beneficial. Understanding the flow and movement of hair is crucial for mastering how it interacts with light. While all examples are good, I'll proceed with the most challenging third sketch. I rendered the head with a shoulder girdle. It wouldn't hurt to copy and paste, but on a serious note, this is my final challenge. I focus on getting the lighting on the hair right. Recalling my earlier, earlier, <laughs> recalling my earlier copy and process, I start the research. Initially, I use a larger brush, switching to a smaller one for individual strands, constantly checking the darkness of shadows and the brightness of lines and highlights. Opting for a darkened background to complement the auxiliary backlight or led to the face and hair. Then I deepen the shadows by considering the environment. Falling shadows from strands are added on the face and neck. 
The next stage involves refining and checking all aspects of the drawing. I enhance the shape of the hairstyle by adding a few strands, striving for even greater volume. It's worth noting that the construction of the hairstyle largely depends on the style, or how you simplify the hair in your pictures. I recommend creating collections of drawings with good examples of hair stylization from other masters. Choose your favorite styles and build your photo base with interesting hairstyles. Spending a few hours a week sketching different examples can significantly improve your designs. The key is to draw thoughtfully. So let's summarize. I believe this demonstrates a much higher skill level than before, don't you? I'm eager to hear your opinion in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time.